All right, hopefully this is the final video because hopefully my car is fixed now. But, okay, so as you can see, if this will ever focus. All right, so now that piece of metal there, when the plunger comes out of the vacuum diaphragm, it lets go. When this closes, it hits that plunger and closes it. Boom, 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 boom. So, um, like, I, like I was saying before, what I had to do is, uh, okay, move the, the bracket back. So the upper part of the bracket that you can't see. God dang it. <sighs> Sorry guys, I'm really frustrated with this right now. So, um, the upper part of the bracket. Is now mounted to the back hole. If you can see that little hole up front, that was the top one. Now it's back there. And I had to also take this and bend it up just a little bit this way. So to grab it from underneath and bend it up that way just to get the alignment right on this because when it was down further, the arm was not able to close all the way it was getting it was hitting the plunger and then not being able to close so I just bent this around a little bit until the alignment got right and you know uh, for all I know that switch is roasted because of the because uh, of the fact that the wires were touching for so long man I'm terrible at this but you know I repaired the wires I've got this aligned to where it's going to hit. I'm going to see if that fixes it. If not, um, I'm going to order a new switch. And I know that's going to be a lot cheaper than buying a $1,500 intake manifold. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Like I said, replace your switch there. Test your vacuum diaphragm. See if your little plastic arm's broken. Bada boom, bada bing. Good luck.